something a little bit different for you here guys um, I need to have a little bit of a rant I'm in uh, BP the one pound 500 the one that we uh, took in part exchanges to be able to sell it's on the books for a pound that I bomb around in it'll dig you one I've just been down to Holsworthy for the uh, white Toyota Yaris um, I'll turn the fan on guys so it might be a little bit blowy yeah for the white Toyota Yaris on a 2011 um, to fit uh, to uh, drop it back after fitting the front washer bottle uh, um, motor so the washers weren't working it was the front washer motor wasn't working so I drove down to Holsworthy half an hour I did think of taking my tools down with me and doing it there but I wasn't 100% sure how it came out and whether it ended up being fiddly and whether they wanted the car jacking up in the car park so I drove down this morning picked it up took it back to the unit fitted it drove it back to the lady again um, all working fine exactly what I thought it was that that motor no problem at all so what my rant is about is when I actually rang this morning to tell the lady I was going to take the car and take the part down to fit the, to the car now bear in mind as well with um, all of my cars I have a handover process and during that handover process I say that we do not operate a recovery um, service and that our warranty is return to base warranty meaning you need it to get it back to me so if you can't drive it we recommend you have some form of uh, recovery service that allows you to get the car to a garage um, you know explaining like I said that we don't operate a recovery service and um, it's a return to base warranty meaning you've got to bring the car back to me now to be fair to she offered to bring the car back to me I offered to drive down pick it up, fit the part, take it back down. Um, because I just felt a little bit like this early on, she's only had it for a week, that, um, you know, go out of my way a little bit for her. So, sorry, going back to what my rant was about, I gave her a ring first thing this morning to say I was gonna come down and fit this part. Uh, bear in mind that it only occurred on Friday, this issue I think it was on Friday. So I'm straight down there on Monday fitting the part. Um, and what got my back up a bit was that she um, said, oh, I've been speaking to my daughter and because I've been losing a little bit of faith in the car. Now, just to recap again, when she got the car, drove the car on the way back, a code came up um, for the catalytic converter. Uh, not a code I'd had while I was driving the car at all. And since, and I had driven it several times and we drove, took it for a long test drive as well. Since then I have found out that you guys have told me that the Toyota ones, they can, they'll, they'll cycle, you can take it out two or three times before the code will come back again. So I think someone's cleared that code before they put it into auction. Anyway, that happened when she drove the car home. Um, and I went over and scanned that code, read it, and my thoughts were the car had been sitting for quite a long time. Um, and, um, well, sorry, actually, Let's get this correct. I went out and scanned the car, the code, but because there was no signal where she lived down in Holsworthy, I had to drive back again, find out what the code meant, and it came up as catalytic converter. So I rang her and told her that's what I thought it was, but I'd cleared the code, and I said, look, drive it around a little bit, because it has been sitting, and somebody else told me that if they've been sitting for a long period of time, um, they can, you know, that can, that can throw the code. So she was taking it for a few long drives, and she took it down to, um, Cornwall, what a long drive, just a couple of hours, four hour long round trip, um, and the code didn't come back on, so I thought that was sorted. Um, and it hasn't come back on since either, actually. Um, I've driven it there and back today, no code. She's driven it around since going to Cornwall, no code. Does that mean it guaranteed it won't come back? Well, based on what you guys are telling me, I can't be 100%, so I'm not gonna say 100% on that. But then this, obviously the front washer stopped working. Um, read about it renowned with the Toyotas that there's two motors on the washer bottle front washer bottle motor go, uh, uh, the separate motors can go so you, they're ten a penny to get hold of because they're so common and they're easy to fit so I've got that sorted and said I'll come down I'll fit it so back again to the phone call when I rang her this morning she said oh yeah well you know I've been speaking to my daughter now I've lost a little bit of faith in the car because of the code coming on and the washer's not working she said my daughter said about doing like an independent inspection on the car and I was, I was like for, for starters 
it's a 2011 car with 108,000 miles on it and the worst you've had is the front washers have stopped working and it's thrown a code but drive driven absolutely perfectly you've just driven it all the way down to Cornwall back without it missing a beat um, this code is for the catalytic alert it just means slightly dirty emissions uh, but again like I say it hasn't actually come back again since um, so you know and everything every problem that's come up so far I've dealt with immediately um, at my expense and I've driven out and, and sorted it so you know you're buying an old car I said look at the end of the day if you want a hundred percent guarantee you need to get a new car that doesn't mean there won't be a fault with your new car and it'll be fixed under warranty like I'm fixing it but that's the only way to sort of limit it if you're buying a used old car you're gonna get problems now and then but the thing is at the moment those problems are mine and I'm sorting them for you at no cost so I'm not sure how much more confidence you could need um, the thing with this deal as well to bear in mind is she came and test drove the car um, deliberated on it for a day or two then rang me wanted the car but didn't want it for about three four weeks while she took her car on uh, the Peugeot 207 and got it MOT so there was plenty of time to do any of these checks beforehand if she had any concerns but it's like I said to her, I'm not sure what this independent check is going to do for you that we haven't done already with our checks going over the car. You know, we couldn't predict a code was going to come up for the cat if it wasn't on there when we were driving it. And the washer fluid worked when we left the left the garage. So, you know, it's unfortunate the motor's packed up, but I'm not sure what this independent inspection is going to tell you. And what winds me up about it is it's with, with the family who haven't had any involvement in the deal at all. They didn't come and look at the car. They didn't phone me and speak to me at all. She did it all on her own. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh, you need an independent inspection on the car. What about my behavior so far has made you think I'm a dodgy dealer? When I ran the Peugeot for part exchange, it said 250 quid was the part exchange value for the car. And my car was below what it said the retail for it was. So by rights, I should have just said 250 and stuck at it. I gave her 700 pounds for the car. Yeah, 700 pounds. So I gave her well over what the book said. She then wanted me to keep hold of the car for like three weeks while she sorted herself out. I did that. She then rings me and says there's a, a code come up on it. The same day, I'm down there scanning the car in her driveway, not making her come back to me. Then a washer fluid starts work, stops working on the front of the car. And I immediately say, no problem. I've ordered the part. As soon as it's in, I'll come down. I'll pick up the car. I'll fit it. I've even top the tank back up with the fuel it's I've used going to Holsworth to pick it up and bring it back and forth to the garage so I've even put in the fuel used in picking up the car that has a return to base warranty so what about my behavior so far that makes you feel so makes this other family member so distrusting of me they want an independent inspection I'm sorry but if you watch my channel and you see the extents I go to with these old cars it exceeds what any mainstream dealership is going to do for you on a car that's probably you know four or five years old and I don't muck about I haven't I don't think I've mucked around in this scenario I've jumped straight on it so to have a third party that wasn't even involved in the deal that you know jump in and make suggestions like that it gets my goat it really does get my goat and while I'm on this rant I've got to talk about the little blue Corsa. So the little blue Corsa that I sent out and it came up with a code that we could, couldn't get rid of. Again, the car drove perfectly, but we couldn't get rid of the code on this 2007 Corsa. Came up for a Lambda sensor, changed the Lambda sensors. So I made the decision, didn't I, to sell it with the fault. So declaring that it has the fault, put it up for sale. The messages I've been getting on that car. So. You know, everybody accuses car used car dealers of not being honest. But you're honest and it's worse. I'm getting people messaging me going, what is the fault? Well it's the fault as described in the advert that the that there's a code for the lambda sensor coming up and I can't make it stay away, but the car drives perfectly. Yeah, but what does it mean? What could go wrong? Well, if I knew that I'd fix it, wouldn't I? Then I had 
um, will you warranty that problem? So if it gets more serious later on. So the car that was £1,600, I'm asking £1,000 for now, but you want me to warranty the fault that I've listed. If it gets any worse, I'll still do the work. I mean, come on, at the end of the day, I really don't know what the public want from dealers. As you've seen from my channel, if a dealer's making 20% on a car, they're doing really well. So if you're buying a car at £1,500, £2,000, £2,500, you're talking between sort of 250 and £500, and you want everything under the sun, and you still think they're making a fortune from it, and they're the dodgy ones. It really does. This is the thing that's going to stop me from selling cheapy cars anyway. But this is the thing that's going to stop selling me cheapy cars and providing the service I do. Because I do sort my cars out. I do solve the problems. But it's the behaviour of the people in that price bracket that is causing the problems. You cannot... If people were to buy these cars privately and to drive them around and a code came on and somebody told them oh well it's a code for a lambda sensor but the car's driving fine so you might as well can't drive they do it to say that when you're dealing with the cars five thousand pounds plus one you don't get a problem with the cars as a general rule um but two the people that have them don't seem to seem to expect as much as the people at the lower end of the bracket i mean if you've got a car that has a fault and you put it up for sale and you are honest and list exactly what that fault is and then you still have people messaging you wanting you to oh what's your best price i had one last night what's your best price well i've knocked 600 quid off of it already um but it's still a great little car what's your best price well i've given you my price if you're saying you're not prepared to pay my price it's up to you to give me a figure so i say to them well you tell me what you want to pay for it I'd rather you gave me a price, came back the message. I bloody have given you a price. I put my price down in my advert. That's my price. If you're not prepared to pay that price, you need to tell me what you are prepared to do. Well, if you don't want to give me a price, then that's fair enough. I just shan't bother. And you're thinking, for Christ's sake, people. Absolute Christ's sake. So, anyway. That's my rant. I'm getting a bit hot and uh, I'm having a rant and obviously I haven't got the fans on blowing too much with the window opening. Little Fifi that £1.500. Um, so I'm getting a little bit hot and sweaty with it but it's, uh, it's uh, absolutely done my head in um, today with that. With those messages coming through last night. Uh, just hasten to add, I don't actually have a problem with the lady um, who's had the Yaris. She's a lovely lady and she's just worried. Oh, going over bumps. She's just worried because her, her um, Peugeot had to have to, um, this is my prophecy guys, I try and get angry with people but I, within about 30 seconds I'm feeling bad about it and uh, apologising. Um, the thing with it is her Peugeot had to have two catalytic converters, it cost her a lot of money, it kept having problems so she's worried that she's picked up just another problem child. And for her family I guess at the end of the day if mum's gone and bought a car and her feedback is that it's already gone wrong twice you're going to be worried for her so i get it it's just i'd understand if i'd been dodging phone calls or you know stuff like that or not returning phone calls or putting her off but i've i've shot down there both times straight away to sort it out so it's just you know if that if i'm still going to get grief when i behave like that you can understand why some dealers do dodge phone calls and don't bother to do anything about it because they're damned if they do and damned if they don't really so um Anyway, enough of that little rant for me while I'm having a drive back to the unit. I'll uh, have a beer tonight and get back on it tomorrow. And uh, I'm sure I'll have a better run of cars. I am going to buy newer, lower mileage stuff. Um, especially now I want to do higher volumes of cars. If you're trying to do high volume, cheap cars, unless you literally are going to wash them and say, mate, you're on your own, whatever happens with this car, then... Um, then I just don't see how you can do much volume wise at all because you're going to be chasing your tail with fixes so as always anyway guys thanks for watching thanks for listening to my rants and I'll have a more positive video up soon see you later